never felt more safe in all the places, Central, all of Central America, actually. I felt yeah. very safe, and Honduras was one place that they tried to scare us. Awesome. I felt, I feel so safe here. So yeah. I welcome you guys to really yes. come visit Honduras. The come people to Honduras. are come humble, to they're proud, thank they're you. friendly. So yeah, I, I definitely agree with you on that. Yes, thank you. I keep losing the signal here. I don't know why. Um, and they have great Wi-Fi, which is awesome. Um, what's the biggest trend here right now in the restaurant? Uh, food, wine? Actually, we have a big trend here because we have a little bit discuss for something for say like that from the uh, special plate. The special plate name is Baleada in Dura. Love this. Oh, that's a serious thing for so us. They are so good. And many people make a complaint about it. They why a baleada. How do I pronounce it? Baleada. Baleada. Baleada is dura. Baleada. Why is so expensive? And they put the picture on it that way, and we can try to explain the overall again. It's not just a simple baleada. It's something no. that you can come, and you can come and try it. We'll I have to try it. one here. Yes. We did have one in Honduras. Well, yes. not me personally, but my husband did. <laughs> I took pictures yes. of it. They're just, they're huge. Of course, it's a big one. You can put some beans, some avocados, some cheese, mm. some eggs. Actually, it has a pizza meat, a big one, that some ribeye. It's included in the same plate. That's Imagine a burrito on steroids. That's what I would call it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, but you can come and you can try. It's a very heat. For we have here in the place, actually we have a very nice kind of wines, Merlot, Sauvignon Blanc, any kind of wine that you can come, and you can find it here in the place. And if you guys go to Stash Your Bags site, I actually popped a picture of the wine glass last night, and it was like, you guys do everything, it's like Texas style, it's all large. <laughs> it's a very huge, <laughs> it's huge. Uh, a huge I want to take it home with me. <laughs> okay, so what would be your favorite meal here that the chef makes? Actually, we have many kinds of meals. Actually, we have shrimps, we have soups, uh, we have garifuna platters. Like the garifuna platter is more the heat about the hotel because we come in here all the stuff we have here in Tela. Like for example, some cassava, some coconut bread, mm. some fish stuff that we bring in here in the same place. We don't buy anything outside from from, from, from the city, for example. Oh, okay. Everything is made here in the place, and they love it. You know, I would have to say since I've been here, yesterday we got to enjoy the spa and we had the ceviche, the fish ceviche the fish first. Yes. Then in the spa they gave us the seafood ceviche. So uh, I got to try both yesterday. <laughs> best ceviche they ever had. Uh, best ceviche. So make sure that you give the yeah. chef a big hug. I, I think my that. husband wants to kiss him because he likes <laughs> that food here so much. No, yeah, yeah you're talking about it. <laughs> well, I want to talk I want to talk to you. Make sure that you talk. Um, who is What's the chef's name here? His name is Guillermo. He's from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've been a little bit time working here with us, maybe like six or eight months. Eight months working with us, and he'll be a very good improvement here in the place. So good. Everything's consistent. It's good. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so Jesse, I'm visiting. What's one place that I have to see in Thailand before I leave your country? You can Punta Sal or Lanzadilla. You're the second one this yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Once. Snorkeling, diving. You, you can make diving, you can make snorkel, you can see the live fish walking there anyway, and this and this is one. Better than Robotan? No. no. Better. It's competition. Uh, it's just competition, <laughs> a little bit. That's <laughs> competition. The boat, is, the boat island is very, very nice and very nice place where you can make diving. Awesome. <laughs> we'll definitely check it out. Okay, last question. Give me one word to describe the people of Thailand. Humble and very nice people to give you the welcome to the place. Very good. You're the second one that said that about this area, so <laughs> it must be true. It must be true. Hey, uh, Jesse, can you let our viewers know how they can get in touch with you guys to maybe book their stay here? Yes, absolutely. You can call from your, you can visit us in www.endura.com okay. and you can find all the information that you can with and make your improvement, action, all the stuff you need to do. Awesome, and we'll make sure to post all the information. And we've been blowing you guys up on social media, so <laughs> oh, yes. hopefully you'll start getting a lot of U.S. traffic over here because this resort is absolutely stunning. It's one of the, it's actually, uh, out of 25 countries that we've visited, yes. probably this is one of the really the nicest resorts that we've been to. And oh, the staff has been me. amazing.
Thank so you. We'll spread the word. No, yes, it's good. The poor man when I die, I'm the plug no more. Awesome. Hey, will you uh, take Jason with you and share the kitchen? Yes, of course. Awesome. Come, Jason. I want to share the kitchen for coming there. the cooking in the front of our guests. They can see that it's clean, it's, it's safe, and all of our cooking and all the place here. And this is all this bread and you're in the This is bread you can see, we have very good machine. Yes, so hey, is that, what kind of bread is that? Actually, this is a coconut bread. It's coconut bread. Like breads with some slice oh, of bread. That's the sweetness that you taste. That's the sweetness that you taste. Like sweet in the morning, so you can taste it. Yeah. Every meal that we have, my husband's like, I'm not eating the bread, and then he cannot resist it. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bye. Okay. As we have all the stuff, you can see this. But the prepare is safe and fresh. That's this is most important. Where do you guys get most of your wines at? Are, are they are they from South America or are they? Uh, all the we have uh, distributor people that yes. came and they offered the wine. Some wine from from outside, okay. maybe Chile, maybe Costa Rica, yes. maybe Argentina, from outside from from the country. So a little bit yeah. everywhere. Yes. Yeah, I think the one that we've been having every night is from Chile, and it's yes. spectacular. Uh, I mean, I don't think I've ever had a wine that I didn't want. Yeah. But, we have many kinds, we have Murraga, we have Merlot, we have Santa Elena, and we have the nice wine. Nice yeah, awesome. They can come, they can show us, and they can decide what wine they would like to And you guys have, have all top shelf liquors as well, yeah. and beers, local oh. beers as well. Yeah. Awesome. Jesse, thanks for doing the interview with me. No, no, no. It was a pleasure Thank to meet you. you. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow.